There's so much questions about the Dallas Cowboys this season, but we got to talk about their season predictions here on the Dallas Cowboys 2024 schedule. And I do believe that the Cowboys will suffer this season. I do not think that they will win many games at all, but we got to go through all the games here and talk about what is going on here. As you can see, the lightly colored games are the home games and the darker games are the away games. So they start off on the road in Cleveland and I'm a big Cleveland fan, so go Browns, go. Very excited to see what they can do there. But Cleveland comes away with the win there, 31 to 17 to be 0-1 to start the season. And they got the Saints at home in week two. All right, and I believe that they beat the Saints 49 to 17 to be 1-1 one one on the record there and get traction to go there. Then Baltimore comes to the Cowboys Stadium as well, to which I think Baltimore defeats the Cowboys 45-10 to to put the Cowboys record to 1-2 at that point. I believe Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry are going to be a force across the NFL this season, and they will take care of the Cowboys single-handedly. Now, they got the New York Giants up in New York for this game at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey for some of you. Um, but New York Giants, a 17-14 win for the Cowboys to be 2-2 two two on the record there. Big road win for them. As much as that follows, the Sunday night game will be against the Steelers there. A lot of big names to talk about in that game. We got Justin Fields. We got Russell Wilson. We got Mike Tomlin. We've got the Cowboys, Dak, CD, Zeke Elliott. What can they do, Jake Ferguson? You know, they're just trying to get going here, but I believe the Steelers win that game 35-20 to on Sunday night football there to put the Cowboys in a 2-3 and three record up to that point, to which they will play the Lions at home the following week there. And I think the Lions, who are on a vengeance to get back into the playoffs this year as Dan Campbell is on a mission to bite off more kneecaps and get back – to the conference title, as well as getting themselves into the chance to play in a Super Bowl. I believe that the Lions win 45-35 to to put them at 2-4 and four going into the bye week. Now, coming off the bye week, it doesn't get much easier for the Cowboys as the San Francisco 49ers. They will go play them on the road up there. And I believe the 49ers will win that game 56-21 to at that point to put them to 2-5. and five. They will also head on another road game there to play the Atlanta Falcons. Big questions about them. Michael Penix, Kirk Cousins. What is that team about to be? Drake London, B. John Robinson, Kyle Pitts. I mean, they look like a stacked roster. So many questions about the Falcons. We will talk about them later on. But I do believe that the Cowboys come away with a big win there, 49-14, which will put them to a 3-5 and record up to that point. So... At that point, we talk about the Eagles at home in a big game there, and I do believe the Eagles win on a walk-off field goal there that will put the Cowboys to a 3-6 and six record up to that point. 27-24 to 24 win for the Eagles there, and it doesn't get much easier as the Texans come for another big home game for them, but the Texans will win that with C.J. Stroud and his group there who are looking to be a very big dark horse in this league. And the Texans will win 49-21 to 21 to put the Cowboys in a 3-7 and seven record up to that point. Now, they got to go head out on the road to play the Commanders to which I think they will beat the Commanders 35-20 to to put them to a 4-7 and record. All right? And at that point, they're going to come back home and play the Giants again, which they will beat the Giants 27-21. to I think they have the Giants number this year. I have not really the biggest ambitions for them to take care of business there, but it will be back-to-back -back wins for them, and um, it will be interesting to see how they can respond up to this point because the schedule doesn't get much easier going ahead. Do believe the Bengals will take care of business there and they will be five and eight at that point of the record. And then the Carolina Panthers, an organization of very much question marks this year with brand new head coach Bryce Young, Xavier Leggett, and many, many more players on that defensive line to talk about. But with that being said, I do believe that the Cowboys take care of business on the road. 27 to 14 and improve their record to six and eight up to that point. 
Then they will play Tampa Bay, and I believe Tampa Bay is going to dominate the Cowboys 45-14 to and a Tampa Bay win there to put the Cowboys at a 6-9 and record to then follow the Eagles up again in the last two conference games for them. Uh, division games, excuse me. And so that point, Eagles will win 56 to 17 to put them to a 6 and 10 record. And then to be determined for the time on that game, Saturday or Sunday game, January 4th or 5th, the last game of the year, the Cowboys will play the Commanders and they will take their loss to the Commanders 31 to 28 to put their final season record at 6 and 11. To tell you this, I don't believe the Cowboys will have Mike McCarthy at the end of the season. I do believe Dak will be gone by the end of the season. Zeke will be gone. There will be a whole new coaching staff. Uh, who will be the next coach of the Dallas Cowboys? There's been talks of Coach Deion Sanders. There's been talks of Coach Belichick. I don't know who the next man up to take over that job is, but just know that the Cowboys are going to be a different organization going into the 2025 season than you're looking at now. And I believe that this year they're going to tank. I really do. I don't think the Cowboys have much ambition. Their free agency showed not much ambition to get better. And so it's going to be a tough year for Cowboys fans. So just, just, just ride the wave with it. Enjoy what you got right now with what you got with Dak Prescott. Um, obviously, Jerry's not going to pay people. That being said, it's going to be a new team in 2025. So this 2024 season, you're looking at getting yourself closer to that first pick of the draft.